So you know that new relationship that you're in where you're already fighting? Well, the bad news is that it's not gonna get better, but there is some good news to this as well. So make sure that you stay tuned and watch this entire video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So whether you are somebody who is in a new relationship where you're already fighting, or if you are somebody who knows somebody who just got into a new relationship and they're already fighting, like please do me a favor and share this video, all right? Because we're gonna talk about these types of relationships, where they go, and what you can do to resolve this issue, all right? So help get the message out there. So one of the downfalls of many people is that they absolutely hate being alone. Like, you might be this person, I know I used to be this person, where being alone and not being in a relationship is just misery, right? Like, we just always need somebody there. The problem with this is that we lower our our bar, we lower our standards. And when somebody comes across, whether it's Mrs. Right or Mr. Right, you know what I mean? We cling on to this relationship and because of our fear of being alone, we stay in this new relationship where fights are already happening and we're miserable and we're hoping for them to get better. Now, I will say this, I've done other videos about toxic relationships and bad relationships and what you could do to improve them. I have an entire playlist called The Broken Picker, which I will link up in the info card above. So make sure that after you're done with this video, if you're you're somebody with relationship issues, make sure that you check out that playlist. What happens when you get into this new relationship where you're already fighting, it's this kind of delusion that we create where we stick around and we think that things are gonna get better. And yeah, this is actually something that I talked about uh, in a video called Stop Dating Broken People. Like, sticking around, waiting for somebody to change is one of the worst things that you can do. And the way I like to put it is, think about this, the last time that you made some drastic change, like really drastic change. And I'm not talking about like, oh, I go to the gym now, or oh, I switch the type of foods I eat. I'm not talking about one of those. I'm talking about legitimate changes to your personality, your beliefs, the way you react to things. Think about the last time that you made a really solid change to your idea of who you are. Right? Because the chances are that if you haven't made one of these amazing drastic changes, the chances are that somebody else that you're in a relationship with, they're not going to either, especially if it's a new relationship. Like, I do wanna take a second and acknowledge, like, this video, I'm really talking about new relationships. Like, if you're married or you've been in a long term relationship, you have kids or whatever it is, like, there are ways to work these things out. You know what I mean? This is more directed towards people who keep getting into bad relationships and sticking around way too long. So there's two big problems with this. The first problem is, is suffering from this delusion that this is what healthy relationships are like. Let me give you an example. From the start of your relationship, you start fighting. You're bickering, you're arguing, you're getting angry, you're getting upset, but then, you're working things out, right? So you're sitting in here and, you're, and you have this idea that, oh, well, this is what healthy relationships are. Healthy relationships face their issues and they talk about them and they work on them together, right? That is true, that is what happens in healthy relationships. But it's much different when you get into a brand new relationship and all of these issues are coming up left and right. That is a major, major red flag. The second part of this, the second thing to really understand is most of these fights should have never, ever, ever happened in the first place. Like, if you are constantly getting into fights and having to sit down and resolve them, like, this is, you're starting off on a very, very bad path because most of the time what this means, and it's something that is so normal, it's so normal, what this means is that you guys weren't compatible. You're not compatible, and that's okay. That's okay, you know what I mean? But people get into these things and they don't realize that every argument that you're getting into is ridiculous. And a lot of them has to do with just your personalities clashing, you know what I mean? Let's look at it this way, okay? Let's say that you kept doing something that kept opening up a wound and cutting you, cutting you, cutting you, cutting you, right? But you're good at stitching it back up right? Like, you're gonna focus on the fact that you're good at stitching it back up, but you're not addressing the fact that you keep cutting yourself in the first place. You see what I mean? That's kind of what's happening in these brand new relationships where you're constantly having these pretty ridiculous fights. Keep in mind, keep in mind that no wedding has ever had the bride and groom get on the mic and say this. You know, when we first met, all we did was fight but eventually things got really good and it turned into a healthy relationship. Like, that is something that nobody has ever said. 
You know what I mean? Like, if it starts off that bad, it's a bad relationship to be in in the first place. And what you really need to recognize is this, that if it's happening now, it's most likely not going to change. But so many people stay in these relationships purely based on fear. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's talk about the two major fears real quick. So the first fear of why you won't leave this relationship even though it's off to a terrible start is that you are afraid of being alone. You are so afraid of being alone that you stick around in this bad relationship hoping and lying to yourself that it's gonna get better. Number two, the other reason why you're staying in this relationship even though it started off very, very bad is because you are so worried about what people in your life are going to think, right? You're worried that your, your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother or your friends or your coworkers, they're gonna look at you and say, oh, pfft, look at them, they just had another failed relationship. You're so worried about what other people will think that you stay in this bad relationship. So here's a topic that I, I really need to make a lot more videos on, okay? And this is what it is. The longer you waste your time on this bad relationship that has been doomed from the beginning, the more you are missing opportunities to be with the potential right person. Like, let that sink in for a few minutes. Think about how much time you are wasting on this person where you've been incompatible from the get and how many other opportunities you're missing out on trying to fix something that is going to continue to stay broken. At the end of the day, here's something that I often have to think about in all aspects of, of life, but let's relate it to the situation that you're in right now, okay? What we always have to remember is that time is our most precious asset, okay? Time is something that we will never, ever get back. Every single one of us has one life, just one life to live. So why are you going to continue to waste time on something that isn't making you happy, right? Like think about that. We waste so much time and like you don't get those years back. And the problem is, the problem is is that a lot of these relationships and these delusions that they're gonna get better, you know, and, and what a healthy relationship means, this ends up turning into a marriage, this ends up turning into the people having a child together, and now you're stuck in this relationship even longer. So what you need to do is, especially when it's early in the relationship, is get out, okay? Get out of this relationship. Face your fears. We can talk about those fears in another video, but you need to get out of it and quit wasting your time because the sooner you get out of it, the sooner that you will meet the right person for you. So again, again, if you think that this video might be helpful to someone that you know, please share it. Share it to give somebody that you know a little bit more clarity, okay? Share it on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever you guys are using. Just share it, and let's get the message out there that people do not have to waste their time staying in a bad new relationship, okay? Anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this subject or how much time you've wasted in a relationship. Leave them down in the comments below, okay? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I always make videos about mental and emotional well-being, so make sure you click the little round subscribe button. If you wanna check out some of the other videos on my channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Quit wasting time, and I'll see you next time.